Hi everyone. Okay, so um, I've let the uh, Unin uh, dry out and I've tightened up the connection to the wire, radiating wire. I've disconnected the earth and reconnected it and, uh, and I've taken off the self-amalgamating tape on the uh, BNC connector to the coax. Uh, check that's all okay and reapply that so um, I'll probably leave it a little bit longer it looks pretty dry now feels dry but um, I'll leave it a little bit longer um, in the meantime I've disconnected the 7300 um, because it's wired through the amp and I've just connected the um, the FT991 uh, same issue um, arcing uh, can only get sort of low power through it. Um, in the meantime, I've disconnected the radio again and I've put my analyzer on it and um, I'm, I'm monitoring the sort of bare match. Um, I've got the uh, MFJ on bypass and the bare match on 80 meters right now is 4.4 to 1. Now what's interesting is that while it's been drying out, the bare match has been getting worse. Uh, when I started, it was about three to one uh, on bypass um, uh, and on matched it's now 2.26 gradually getting worse uh, I started on a, about 1.15 so as it's drying out the SWR is degrading um, along with the bare match as you might expect now I don't know what I don't know whether um, it will continue or not I'm assuming that as the input impedance changes as it dries um, once it's dried out then the bare match shouldn't really change it should, it should basically stay put as near as damn it um, it's just an experiment really so who knows but uh, at the moment it's about 4.5 to 1 and as I said it started at about 3 to 1 bare um, and a perfect match tuned um, which is now degraded to sort of 2.25 to 1 so um, I'm hoping that I'll know it's completely dry or um, when uh, when the match stops moving um, although of course we all know that the, the bare match will move anyway a little bit so um, uh, but yeah I'm, and I'm hoping that this is going to solve the problem because at the moment I can't really use the antenna because I can't put any t any sort of type of power through it beyond sort of uh, 20 or 30 watts so um, so we'll see um, the problem I've got is that it was bright sunshine a bit earlier. Now it looks like it might bloody rain again, um, which will be a major pain in the ass because that means that I'll have to basically put the lid back on it. I'll, I'll probably waterproof it with self-amalgamating tape or stick it in a plastic bag for now. And then, um, uh, and if there is any more drying to do, then it's just going to take longer. But there you go. That's ham radio for you. So uh, anyway, quite handy, these antenna analyzers. When you've got a problem, uh, there's no doubt that, um, that they can come in handy. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting uh, to see whether uh, having dried it, it out and tightened up all the connections uh, that this antenna's working again. I kind of need it to be really uh, for obvious reasons but um, we'll see. Anyway, I'll probably post another update um, once uh, everything has kind of settled down here um, and I've got uh, an impedance uh, on the antenna that's uh, stable. Thanks for watching. 73.